Hello Taurus, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a reading from now until the end of July. Now this is a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does, I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you want to look further into this, know more about this reading, to get a more personalized look into the situation. You can book one with me for a very low, low price for $33.33, okay? But in this reading, I'm going to be looking at your past, your present, present in your near future energies. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice for you. I'm going to look at your challenges from the now, from the now, from now till the end of July, moving into August, and also what you don't see coming in. Now you probably want to stick with me to the very end, Taurus, because not only am I going to read to you guys the energies between you and another person, the energies coming towards you, past, present, future, clarifications and advice. I'm also going to look at how your person view the situation in the recent or distant past versus how they see the situation now, okay? All right, Taurus, let's get started here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you, Taurus, for all your love and support. I love coming back to my Taurus readings. Feels like home every time. Okay, because you know I am a Taurus myself. Let's see here, Taurus, what we have for you today. Now keep in mind this could be coming from your cross watcher as well. So assign the roles as they fit for you. Spirit, what are the energies right now between Taurus and another person? This can be the person that they're currently dealing with in their life at this present time, who they are thinking about in a relationship with, have feelings for. This could be somebody from their past, okay? It doesn't really matter what the relationship status is right now between you and them, Taurus. We're going to take a look at these energies right now between you and another person you and a particular connection okay thank you all right so in the past taurus we have the six of wands the knight of wands and the seven of pentacles could have been dealing with a fire sign for some of you. This is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Now I'm seeing here, ooh, okay, Taurus. So, <clears throat> damn, okay. I also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio in this reading so far. Now, Taurus, it looks like in the recent or distant past you had a misunderstanding, an altercation, an argument of some sort with this person. This could have been a little while ago, this could have been recently doesn't really matter when, but I'm just seeing it did happen between you and this person, okay? You may have confronted this person, wanted to get to the bottom of things. You really wanted to get to the heart of the matter. And this is something to do with, you know, how this person feels. You kind of wanted to see, well, where are they? Um... You know, you, you kind of weren't sure how they felt about you. And you guys are usually pretty good at reading others, okay? And you usually don't get too caught up about, you know, how other person feels about you or, you know, think too much about a situation. But the thing is, it kind of got a little bit confusing here because I feel like the two of you with the Nine of Wands energy, Six of Wands energy, the Five of Pentacles energy, it's like this person was kind of letting you feel like they wanted something more than just a friend. And it was almost like when they talked to you, they could tell you could tell like they were kind of getting a little bit jealous. I don't know if this was something that they they had said to you, like, you know, when you mentioned other males, other females. 
like you could just tell like there was something that they said just kind of completely threw you off and almost sounded like this person was interested but they never flat out told you like what they actually wanted with you but you two had a vibe going on you know you connected deeply on a very I don't know this is a very intuitive level okay you took a break here okay because it kind of stopped you in your tracks too you see this this is somebody taking a contemplative break here it's not saying that they love their garden or hate their garden but they're looking at this garden like okay is it a good garden is it a bad garden is there something more that i could do to this garden or maybe nothing at all is it going to lead to anything what's going on here you know you can see this person here with the seven of pentacles this is someone taking a contemplative break okay it's not to say that anything is actually going wrong it's not to say that to give themselves a pat on the back either right it's just simply this person needing to take a moment to think about their project, their job, their house, their relationship with this person or whatever else you've been working on and really how it's been affecting you. What feelings you have. Is this the path that's sapping away your energy? Maybe not giving enough back? Or perhaps there's something more that can be done to improve the situation. Perhaps everything is going great, in which case, good job you, because here I'm seeing the Six of Wands. You wanted something, you got it, Taurus. Okay, you had your eye on somebody, you kind of reeled them in a little bit. <laughs> okay, if not, this was them with you. You know, they got that date. They got your number, you got theirs. You guys started talking, you guys may have hooked up. But then I feel like along the way, things kind of got confusing here and there. I may have ended in altercations, an argument, or a fight, is what Spirit is showing me. Okay? Somebody here was very defensive about something, the way something was said. And you didn't like it. You didn't like it, Taurus. You didn't like something that this person was doing. Whether this was maybe them stringing you along or keeping you kind of hung up on the situation, kind of confused. You know, you felt like maybe this person really wasn't making a decision, but you could also kind of feel like they were partially in. But then that was the thing that I feel like you were confused about. Were they interested? Were they not? Because they were giving you signs and hits that they were. If this was in you, this was maybe your person thinking that. I feel like there's a little bit of confusion here as to, okay, what the hell's going on here? Okay. And there were somebody here who was really scared of being rejected, not being enough. There was somebody here at the time also dealing with financial difficulties at the time. Okay, there have been changes or losses in their stability and their security. This could have been maybe the reason why somebody here could not move this relationship forward. There were a lot of things going on at the time in the home, okay? And they really needed to think about it, is what Spirit was showing me. Could have been dealing with a Virgo. Okay, there was maybe this um, financial comparison, okay? A huge financial comparison. Well, there's a huge financial difference here, maybe. I don't know. And maybe how much you were making, how much they were making, their experience. I don't know why I'm getting pentacles, okay? You know, because this is somebody here who's looking at what they have and how they how it compares and what they have and how it's affecting them. Let me take a look and see what the present moment is. But I see here your person in the past was confused about the situation here, Taurus. If this wasn't them, that was you. Somebody here definitely was confused. And then what happened was you guys resulted in a argument a breakup and separation and this feeling of rejection or abandonment was felt by one the other okay 
actually getting it from both sides to tell you the truth okay in the present moment we have the knight of cups and the knight of swords with judgment <laughs> taurus so i'm reading this situation right now between you and another person who's not talking to you at this time okay could be a libra person but i'm seeing here this is how someone feels like well that's what they deserve that's what they get you know if they're gonna act like this i'm gonna block them if they're gonna talk like this and do something a certain way i'm just not gonna allow it justice calls for you know things to be handled accordingly to one's actions right so i feel like here this is somebody really putting down their they're, they're really just trying to put their feet down to the situation it really represents a choice a very difficult choice than that one had to make I don't feel like it was one that was lightly made. When the justice card comes up between the two of you, it's about you two making choices here because of what's happened, okay? And she feels like this is a decision in a way that it's true, it's fair. Regarding the past, it indicates some circumstances that happened between the two of you are now kind of made just by your decisions to walk out or leave the situation but i'm kind of getting here both of you guys do not like how the situation is for the two of you right now because you guys are both weighing both sides of the issue even though it feels like it's the right choice it's not the choice you would prefer neither of you because there are feelings here there's some things said here this is you guys both feeling like well you know justice you know somebody brought this you know somebody started this fight this argument you know somebody here didn't or did do something did or didn't do something You guys both have a lot of feelings for each other. This is confusing here. Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. You guys both want more out of this situation. But one is looking at things very logically and the other one's not looking at things emotionally at this time. And both of you guys both want a renewal. But how one feels at this time, they feel like they have to stay... Um, I have some things they, they want to say to you, Taurus. Let me take a look at your future energies here. Future energies here for Taurus. It's like mind over heart. What do you do? Which decision do you make? You know, there's this desire to walk away, leave, leave behind the situation. But then you still feel some type of way to this person, about this person. You're not quite sure. I'm really getting the temperance feeling. It's like uh, maybe some of you were confused about whether or not, you know, you could have, you could start your career and start a relationship. You know, for some people, it's either one or the other, career or family. But I'm kind of getting here, this person, you know, it wasn't that this choice, this decision had to be completely polar opposite since they could actually have both, but the having of both frightened, scared this person, okay? But that was ultimately what led to this huge wall and guard that they put up for you or between you two. I feel like somebody wedged, okay, something between the two of you made this relationship very difficult to start because it was hot and cold they kept themselves at an arm's distance you know they kind of they were mentally emotionally there and connecting with you but you could tell like they weren't you know because they were afraid of something here the hermit and the five of pentacles in the future we have the three of pentacles the king of wands and the chariot damn taurus so you have somebody here the same person the same person yeah, somebody here, Taurus, who feels a little bit indifferent. I feel like this is the Venus and Mars conjunction right now. This clearly talks about it. You know, their heart right now. They're having maybe some second thoughts about the whole situation. 
okay what they originally said before well they're kind of feeling two parts and two bits about it now they maybe found themselves not wanting to have this situation before you guys are maybe gridlocked right now and no communications but your person's having a change of heart Taurus is what I'm seeing they're gonna go passionately towards the whole situation here the three of Pentacles talks about working you can see this person now deciding and choosing to work on the situation when before they ran when before they shut down when before you only saw that they were interested but they weren't actively putting in any work or effort to maintain this relationship and that's all you maybe wanted them to do perhaps this was your cross watcher feeling that way about you but i'm seeing here this is somebody here who's now going to take action to actually build to make something right with the other person at least this is showing very strongly in their desires or in this reading that's coming out right now you know this is the teamwork that makes the dream work okay <clears throat> They're on the same team now. Okay, they're combining forces with others. If you are single and alone right now, this is saying definitely work, reach out to others, maybe for feedback. Maybe take yourself out of that nine of pentacles energy, okay? The pentacles are not overly interested in your feelings, but it suggests that you are or will be very happy and content with your work and the efforts in what you see people do, okay? You, you, you're enjoying their efforts, so to speak. You're seeing improvement. You're liking how people are working with you on something, if you're feeling right now at this time your work if you're feeling right now that this isn't exactly how you feel about this person or if things may work is kind of I guess what spirit wants to say it's a it's a reminder here not to give up on this person with the king of wands in the chariot there's somebody you're coming back okay they could be different at a distance from you guys right now let's clarify a few things here Taurus now, I already told you how they saw things in the past. Let's take a look here and see how they see things now. Remember, the Five of Pentacles and the Hermit was really what they were feeling, okay? They needed to take their time on this. They were taking their sweet-ass time with this. And for some of you guys, this have been like one or two years in the making, okay? There could have been one, two months that you guys really haven't said anything. Nothing really has improved or changed. Others of you, I'm also getting one, two, three years, okay? It's gonna either been many months, many weeks, many days, many years here. Everyone's on different timelines. I have um, Cancer, I have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I have Virgo, I have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, Libra in this reading so far, okay? All right, so how they feel about the whole situation here with you. Now I'm telling you guys the Wheel of Fortune versus a hermit in the past. Okay, something's moving, something's changing, something going on right now in, within your person, the emperor. Okay, your divine masculine energy, your divine counterpart. Person who, oh, I'm kind of getting here, Taurus. This is someone who has crossed your past, but it was a really bad time when the two of you came together and the two of you met. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting. Your person now wants to start this Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Wants to have a second chance, wants to come back and work on a situation with you they know they didn't give it their all they know they kind of just didn't give it their all to you okay <clears throat> there's a compromise the situation is improving Taurus damn you guys want to go ahead and look more into this situation we can Taurus I hope this video helped this is very specific for a very specific Taurus and somebody else to hear and I felt very specific <laughs> 
energies in this reading all over. Um, I hope this helped. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you need to reach me, I'll leave my email in the description box below so that you can get a one-on-one -on -one personalized reading with me where we look at your person's th thoughts, feelings, the energies going on between you both at this time, how they think, how they feel about you, and how best to move forward. All of that can be done in a personal. I'll leave my email. And you can get a lover special for $33.33 Taurus. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope this helped. Give me a like. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks for um, another energy update. But until then, I'll see you guys later or in your personal reading. Bye, guys.